Okay. So this question is from ACJC2019, paper one, question 9B. Okay, in, in case you are interested. So first part, function G is defined for X greater than zero. Okay, so they give you this. And n is an integer. Okay. So fill in the blank. So for this part, you can see that n is equal to 2. So it's like 2 square and 2 power 1. This is where n equals to 1. So 2 power 1, 2 power 0. So because it's 2 square, here you get 4x minus 1. Here you get 2x minus 1. This is straightforward. So sketch the graph. So this b part 1 sketch the graph right, actually hints you for part 3. Okay. So for part one, very straightforward. Okay, not vertical enough. Y, X. So for one quarter inclusive, huh? uh, one quarter, half, then maybe a one. Okay. You will see that when it's half, Okay, when it's one quarter first, it will be zero. When it's half, it will be two minus one, which is one. Same for this. When it's half, it's zero. When it's one, it's also one. But the inclusive is on the left side. So for the first graph, okay, now it will be zero to one. It will be a straight line here. You're not inclusive. You're inclusive. This one, it also will be not inclus uh, inclusive here. And then here, 0 to 1, not inclusive. Okay, so this is the graph. Now for part 2, show that gx equals to gx over 2. So for part 2, your gx being 2 power nx minus 1. Where n is all integers, okay? And x is between 1 over 2 power n, 1 over 2 power n minus 1. gx over 2 is 2 power n x over 2 minus 1 equals to 2 power n minus 1 times x minus 1. Okay. In this case, the domain is such that x over 2 is between 1 over 2 power n to 1 over 2 power n minus 1. So x is between 1 over 2 power n minus 1 and 1 over 2 power n minus 2. So here, right, you can actually use words to explain or you can continue to use, if you follow the school method, you'll be using the algebra to explain. Okay, Both are okay, actually. So if you use words, right, it will be something like, for n spanning all integers, the graph will be the same. Okay, The range of value, the, the, for n spanning all integers, we'll see that gx is equal to gx over 2. Okay, But it's still hard to explain sometimes. Okay, so what the what was done was that they let k equals to n minus one. Therefore, g x over two equals two power k x minus one, where x is between one over two to the power of k and one over two to the power of k minus one. Therefore, for all values of k, okay, I should have. Written here, not enough space, but never mind. So for all for uh actually also comma k is all integers as well. Okay, because it's just n minus one, so it's all integers. So therefore, your gx is equal to g of x over two. Okay, so that is your part two. For so part one year, part two year. Okay, part three. Okay, since I use the space on the left, green color here. 
find the number of solutions for which gx equals to x. Now you see that, you see based on number one, this part one question, uh, part one answer. Uh, if I were to sketch y equals to x, it will be something like this. Okay, this is your y equals to x. So you can see that, okay, for this one, it doesn't hit. Okay, there's no, this one, because it, 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 my right intersects at this part, which is not supposed to be touching. So this part is not an intersection. But there is an intersection here. If you see that from 1 over 8 to 1 quarter, there will be one more line here. Then 1 over 16, there will be one more line here. It will get steeper and steeper. Each of these will have one intersection. So your job is to find how many of it are there within this range. And this one is 1 over 1,000. X, 1. Okay? So for part 3, what I will do is I will split up in terms of the different domains. Okay? So for x, for 0 0.001 x1, comma, we get 1 over 1000 x1. Okay? Now, I want to do in terms of 2 power. Okay, so I want to, so therefore, we analyze the domains, analyze the following domains. My way may be different from a school uh, way of explaining. Huh? I hope you all understand what is happening. So just now, as, at least you are, when you are presenting, you are saying what you are doing. Okay, remember, you are making an argument, a mathematical argument. So what I will do is I will analyze 1 over 2 power 10, which is actually 1 0 2 4, x 1, 1 over 2 power 9, x, in, uh, no, no, not 1, sorry, 1 over 2 power 9, equal sign here, 1 over 2 power 8, 1 over 2 power 8. You want, you can write down everything in exam, but I'm not going to write out. I'm going to be very lazy here. So 1 over 2 square, x, uh, no equal sign here. So 1 over 2, so that's the 1 quarter to half. And 1 over 2, x, 1. So what happens here is that there are 8 intersections. This one, no intersection. Okay? Now, the final clue to the puzzle is for this first one. Because 2 to the power of 9, okay, let me just change to green here. 2 power 10, or this whole thing, right, it's actually 1 over 1, 0, 2, 4 x 1 over 5 1 2 so we are concerned whether the intersection for this part right whether is it between 1 over 1 0 2 4 to 1 over 1000 or 1 over 1000 to 1 over 5 1 2 because if it's here it's not within a graph it's not within this domain not within this domain but if it's here it is within a domain so we want to check so this is where n equals to 10. So for n equals to 10, okay, 2 power 10x minus 1 equals to x. 2 power 10 minus 1 for x equals to 1. Okay, so now we can say that x is equals to 1 over 1, 0, 2, 3. So therefore, not within range, not within a not within a domain. No intersection. So your total answer, eight intersections. Okay, so that is for this question.